Hi, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I thought I would do a grocery haul pickup from Sam's, show you all the food that we get for about a two week period for a family of four. But before we do that, I would like to first clean out my refrigerator before getting all those new groceries in. If you enjoy this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I want to go ahead and clean out my sink because I'll be taking the little shelves out of my refrigerator and then carrying them over and then hand washing them in the sink before putting them back in. So I just want to make sure the sink's already clean before I get that step. So now that the sink is finished and clean, I can move on to the refrigerator. So I'm just going to pull out all the things on the shelves and lay them on our island. And then I'm going to take a dry tea towel and just wipe out any crumbs or loose debris before I add the soapy water to it. So that's what I'm doing right here. And the best time to do this is when your refrigerator is almost empty. So here I'm taking just a container and filling it up with some hot soapy water. So I'm going to be using my Mrs. Meyers dish soap in the honeysuckle scent. I just love that. And then I'm just using my sponge from Grove Collaborative, the one with the sponge on the one side and the little scrubby on the other side. So what I'll do is just give all the surfaces a good scrub. Then I'll take a damp washcloth and run over top of that to get the suds off and then just wipe it dry with the dry tea towel and then work my way throughout each and every shelf. If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you enjoy cleaning motivation, organization tips, decorating, and all things home, motherhood, and family related, won't you consider hitting that subscribe button? I'd love to have you back. So here's all the shelves in the refrigerator all nice and clean and really they weren't super bad but if you keep on this you won't have to take too long to clean it each and every time. I like to do a deep clean about two times a year and then just otherwise just clean up the spills when they are there. So the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and pull out the drawers and then show you my little tip about keeping them nice and clean. Make sure to purchase some Glad Press and Seal. So just take a few sheets and tear it off and then press it down in the bottom of your drawer. Then if there's any messes or any uh, crumbs, all you have to do is just remove that Glad Press and Seal and replace it with a new sheet and you're good to go. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes 
We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same process to the other drawer and then we'll move on to the larger one. So before getting to the little shelves in the doors, we have to clean out this large drawer. And here I usually keep all of my meats and cheeses and yogurt. And I don't put the press and seal on here, and I'm not sure why after looking at this, it is so super dirty, and all I'd have to do is put the press and seal and then remove it. But as you've seen there, it, it was pretty dirty. It had some um, crumbs and just uh, food flakes. So I'm just gonna go ahead, wipe it down with the soapy water, and then dry it, and then replace all the food, and then put it back in. So if you're interested in how I organize my refrigerator, just hold tight and you'll see that at the end of the video. So getting back to the refrigerator, I've just pulled all the food out and removed all the little shelves and I will take them over to my sink and clean them in a bit. But one place I think that we often forget is the little rubber seal area around the doors. Be sure to get a sponge and clean that out. You'll be amazed at how dirty that is. So here I wanted to show you a up close look at the door cubbies or drawer or shelves and they are kind of dirty but again like I said my refrigerator isn't too bad because anytime that there's a spill I like to get it right then so that it doesn't harden and get really hard to get up so all I'm doing is just taking that soapy water that I had to clean out the refrigerator and just running some hot soapy water and cleaning each and every little cubby out Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away So this is how I deep clean my refrigerator and it is looking so nice right now. It is so shiny and I'm just really proud of the work that I've put in. So because the inside is nice and clean, I wanted to go ahead and clean the outside. So I'm using my favorite Wyman stainless steel cleaner. It will really shine up the stainless steel and you can almost see your reflection in it. So I really love this product. Now I'm not going to do the freezer today. I like to break up my cleaning into small reasonable sections and so today I didn't have quite enough time and so I'll go ahead finish this up and then run and get my grocery pickup at Sam's. We don't need nobody else. I got you and you got me too. I've been 
Okay, so to start off, um, I got three of these Premier Proteins, and right now my son, Caleb, is on a diet where he needs a lot of protein, so I had to stack up one, stock up on a lot of this. So this is um, the vanilla, which we really like. Um, this is the banana and cream, and then this is just chocolate, so we'll have those. And they're really good if you put them in the refrigerator. And then um, I got these, these are frozen, and they are the chicken melts from Sam's. I really like those to have on hand, something quick. Then we have four big boxes of the white um, egg whites, and um, they're just liquid egg whites. We uh, have those in shakes, and then I tend to eat egg whites instead of just eggs, because I like to have peanut butter <laughs> instead of the yolk. Then we have here some broccoli. And then for meats, um, what I was able to get this time was just the chicken breast tenderloins. And then here, let's see, this is pork chops. And I like to keep them already in these little bags and that's how I pull them out and then just put them in the refrigerator like that. And then these are the boneless, skinless chicken breast. A big pack of those. And then here, I also have the ground turkey, if you can see through the bag there. And they come as in two, and each one has uh, two pounds of meat. So I actually have um, four containers of ground turkey. Then we also have some chicken breast in the can. And then we have turkey breast for sandwiches, and then also some ham with for sandwiches and things like that and so i think that is all of our like protein sources i did pick up one of their rotisserie chickens we'll probably have that for dinner tonight and then for the cold things i have some, uh, again the broccoli some um strawberries frozen strawberries we like those again in our shakes with some yogurt and stuff like that um, we have some orange juice here um, some sour cream. This is my favorite hummus. It is the red pepper hummus from Members Mark. So that's at Sam's. And I love that with the pretzel crisps that are here. Um, but we'll get to those a little down a little later. Then my daughter requested some vanilla ice cream. So um, that's that. But I'm actually going to go ahead and put that in the refrigerator so that it doesn't start to melt. Okay. So we got some peanut butter um, and then I'll work my way on the other side. So for vegetables this time, we got some peppers and we have some gala apples, some halo mandarin oranges. Um, I have some cucumbers. We have grapes, avocado, and then we have some romaine lettuce, and these come as five. No, they, they're six, six hearts. So we like to have those and keep those in the refrigerator. And then for uh, tortillas, we got the small ones this time. So we got those for some fajitas or even some burritos or something. And then here's the pretzel crisp that we like to get. I love the Stacy's pita chips. And then with salsa, we like the on the border um, tortilla chips. Another request of my daughter was to get some popcorn. So this should, sit, should stock her up for about a month or so. And my husband's favorite, Scott, he loves the Honey Nut Cheerios. So we got that. Um, some Oreos for snacks and Nella wafers, and then we were out of corn, and then we like to have these Dole um, cups. This is the mandarin oranges, but this has Jello with peaches, and um, I think it's just strawberry flavored Jello. And then goldfish, this, my kids love goldfish, so typically every other time, um, once a month, we usually have to get this big box of goldfish because they love that as a snack and then again like i said the rotisserie chicken will probably be for tonight 
So this is what we got. And again, this will probably last, hopefully, for two weeks. But there is some stuff that I need to pick up at Walmart as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get this all put away in the cabinets. And then I'll show you what my cabinets look like. my freezer right now so this is the side that I usually keep the vegetables and so on this side we have the broccoli we have green beans mixed vegetables and then these are egg rolls and then on this side we have the fruit on the top so the strawberries and then all the meat here this is the turkey and then this is the chicken and turkey bacon so that's how I organize this. Now here I will be putting the uh, chicken melts. So let's go ahead and do that. So you see that I'm writing here vanilla wafers on the package because the goldfish also comes in the silver packaging. So in order to tell the difference, I always usually go ahead and just label them real quickly and then put them in to our shelves. And instead of getting bins, because I never know if the, the food that we're going to get is going to fit in them, I just usually break down the boxes and as they are emptied I go ahead cut them down and just kind of recirculate the boxes as they empty this method seems to work really nice for our family Once I get all the groceries put away in the fridge and in our pantry, I'll go ahead and give you an up close look of how I organize everything. I don't know if you could relate, but for my family, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So as soon as I get home, I like to go ahead and wash up all the fruit and put it in a container that is easily accessible so that nothing goes to waste. My husband jokes and says this is a cornucopia of fruit. Alright, so now that I'm all finished putting everything away, I'll just let you look through my cabinets, as is. So... Starting up here, we have all of our canned goods, then some, some of the rice and pasta, spaghetti noodles, canned chicken, some soups, as well down here we have the tomato based stuff and Italian seasoning or Italian dressing. And these are like extra condiment type stuff. And this I actually got in, um, online thinking that that it was cans of green beans and this is what i got so <laughs> that's kind of funny and then up here i store my potatoes um, rice and onions and then as you saw when i was stacking all the egg whites so we still have a few eggs in here and then Normally I will put out meats um, that we're gonna eat for their dinner a couple of nights ahead. So as you see, I have nothing there. I have to put something up and then we'll have that rotisserie chicken for tonight. <laughs> Back in here, we actually have some paint brushes because we're in the pro process or the rollers uh, process of uh, 
painting our, di our dining room. The Premier proteins, all stacked and ready to go. And then we have dressings and jelly. And then over here, more condiments, Miracle Whip, ketchup, mustard. Put it in there a little prettier. <laughs> and then down here, orange juices. Milk is up there. So, oh, and then in this one, I just threw the rest of the apples that we didn't use or that we don't have out. This is extra lettuce, celery, um, carrots, cucumber, and this is an extra head of lettuce. And this one, this is the peppers, tomatoes, any tomato that we use. This is where our onion goes, avocado. Then when we do cut up lettuce, then I put it in this container. We usually have our leftovers on this shelf. And then and this one is more like lunch meats and cheeses and then yogurt over here. So that is what's in our refrigerator right now. So we are pretty full. <laughs> and then you already saw the freezer. So again, just those chicken melts here. These are some veggie burgers. I think this is a, a thing of broccoli that was open. I do vegetables on this side, um, the fruits and then the meats. And then this pulls out and we store more orange juices, breads, um, my daughter's waffles, breakfast things, and then anything extra like our meats that we can pull out and unthaw or dethaw and then have them. These are like pepperoni bites frozen bread dough um, and I think there might be some mozzarella cheese that I froze all right and then in this cabinet normally we will do um, drinks so like teas the protein drinks a lot of times we'll do soda right now we're out of that and then I believe that you saw all of this so these are our containers here that were protein powder and I like to reuse them, put our cereal and our oatmeal, especially things that comes from Sam's are just so big and I like to store them all at once into one container. So that has worked really well. Then they put their goldfish in here. We have um, all kinds of snacks. This is what we have for this two weeks and then chips down here. So that is basically our refrigerator and pantry area. Now, if you swing over here, um, I do put a good bit of stuff up here. This is more like spices, our spice rack. So all of our spices, I want to do a video upcoming maybe of organizing this a little bit better. We have some syrup in here. Um, and then there is where we put like our peanut butter, agave, um, salt and pepper that we can get to quickly. Just this type of stuff that you see here. And then above here is where we have all of our oils and cooking things up here. And then I did a little um, basket of fruit that we got, cleaned it up and stacked it. So this is what we have right now. And I am finished. Dishwasher's running. And it's about time for dinner. <laughs> Alright, well I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas on um, maybe how to shop and, and what other people do and buy when their kids get older. Um, it, it's kind of neat to see what people do and how they organize it. So, if you're, if you're liking this video, Give me a, a thumbs up in the comments and also go ahead and hit that thumbs up on the video. And if you'd like to see other hauls, let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good evening. Bye.